Hey YouTube, well, the day has come, a day that I never thought would come, I'm working on a Toyota. Anyway, so, my cousin got cancer, truck transmission went out, and my father said he was going to promise that I would fix <laughs> the transmission on this Toyota. So, here I am. Fulfilling my father's promise. So, didn't see any videos on how to how to remove these transmissions or anything. So, or if they are, it's like it's after the fact, which pretty much this one is too. But at least I'm going to talk about it at least. So, the first thing you do is uh, when when you're taking it apart. These drive shafts come. So what I did was I painted the drive shafts. So I'll know which way the indexing is. Painted it a couple days. Obviously lifted it. Painted it. And then uh, take it apart right here. Put all the, the nuts and bolts exactly how they came in. Heads in the correct direction. Nuts, washers, stack. All that's important to keep in mind. So, um, one thing I noticed, this cross member is not the same as a Jeep. This one is welded in, can't take it out. I'm like, oh my God, how am I gonna take it apart? You don't, <laughs> that's how you do it. So what I had to do is the uh, transmission mount, I had to remove that, take it apart up in here. And, um, Anyway, so disconnect the uh, the linkage. Here's here's what the linkage looks like. That's for the uh, for the shifting. And there was one cross beam that was right here, all the way across. Now, of course, there's my modified jack again. Once again, that's why I tell people you should go ahead and sacrifice a, a, a jack just for for. Uh, this kind of stuff but a uh, big old board there's a, a screw again long screw long bolt disconnect the hydraulic line this thing right here I forgot what it's called but I know bleeping Jeep and Nick and time both made videos on them so I, don't, I have to check up but there's absolutely nothing Toyota so, so that's the one thing I have to give the Jeep community a hand at is helping others, you know, get the information out. So basically, I pulled this uh, one bolt. What the heck? Yeah, the bolt goes right there. Pull that out, and then take this nut out, and then just kind of carefully pry the whole thing out. And the uh, connectors, if you follow the wiring harness. You can you can replace that if it's messed up, and it looks like the wiring on it is kind of messed up. I don't know that I'll be replacing it, but if it's giving us problems. I don't know what to do. So anyway, disconnect the, all the all the bolts up here. That's where the torque converter is. I uh. Once I got done, these are the bolts. That is how I uh, put them in the directions that they are. These are the two top center bolts. And um, I think the one with the nut, that one right there, those are the two bottom centers. One's a nut and the other is a, a bolt. And then this goes up to the left and that goes up to the right and then these two are your center ones these four actually don't belong back here I mean it's not part of the front part of the tranny but at least I know what it's for I'll just keep that over here I set this tire here this old tire I'm gonna drop the, uh, the drive shaft give it a nice soft place to land that way it doesn't get damaged doesn't get lost <laughs> so 
I found a guy to rebuild the transmission for 600 bucks. So that's uh, that's where it's gonna go. I know it's on the cheap side, but you know, let's face it, it's a 1991. And uh, even getting used ones from junkyards isn't that, you know, they're not a bunch of them out there. So I'm gonna just have it rebuilt, make sure I get the right one. There's so many different options. But this one was a 91 pickup, Toyota, extra cab, without cruise control. Maybe it does have cruise control. Could never figured it out. Um, what else? Uh, it was a four speed deluxe. So all these things make a difference on what transmission you get. So trying to find the exact one is not easy. And it's a junkyard one for crying out loud. <laughs> you don't even know if it works. So, and that's why I went ahead and, you know, just go ahead and find. And some of those junkyard ones, they want, it's like, oh yeah, it's gonna be a thousand dollars, 1100, what? I get this one rebuilt for, thousand to twelve hundred bucks at least I know it's the right one I'm not guessing so but anyway I found a guy who will do a, a junkyard rebuild on it my cousin ran this thing out of fluid it only had a cup although overnight I guess it had more than a cup <laughs> anyway it's a slow leak so uh, let's see what the heck else. What else? <coughs> yeah, so she did like building maintenance stuff, so that's why she had this truck. This was her. This, I guess, still is, but now she's in a wheelchair. But until she uh, gets her surgery done. So to access those uh, those bolts right there, I use this this uh, ratchet. It's a weird ratchet that I had. I got it from Harbor Freight. I said, "Oh, that's weird." But you know, sometimes I come across some weird stuff. And yeah, to to get those to get those. Uh, back to top bolts that's what i had to use put a 17 millimeter socket on here and this these things rotate and that's how i got them out how i'm gonna get them in Ooh, don't even ask i'm already afraid but yeah that's where you get it gain access to it back in back inside of here stick that thing up there and twist 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 that was the top right one. You go to this side, stick that thing back in there. Twist, 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 twist. Probably about a 15, 20 minute job. To take it out. So anyway. I got this knowing. I call it my articulating ratchet. I got it knowing that there's sometimes some really hard to get stuff. Yeah, I don't think I could have done it without it. So those are the tools that I use. And rather than putting them back on the on the table, I put them in here so I'll, I'll know these are the tools I use to take them out. Those are the tools that I'm going to use to put them back in. So, yeah. Oh yeah, the, I did leave the uh, transmission oil dipstick over here and here's the starter for the Toyota transmission I mean for the Toyota engine Toyota vehicle itself so yeah so I got there this signal turn signal for my ZJ still here anyway that's all for now that's the I still gotta get that transmission out wiggle it out somehow it's, uh, it's hard taking it out. It's going to be even worse getting it back in. I already know it. Anyway, signing off. Take it easy.